All right, guys, we're on this little barge ferry type thing going across this river to see the ancient site here at Kaunos. Uh, it's K-A-U-N-O-S. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully I can get it figured out so I'm not butchering it. But you can see they've just got us loaded on with a couple other cars and then this van behind us. It was 20 Turkish Lira, so that's uh, like just under $3, right? right? Just slightly under $3. And we're just heading up the river here. So the crossing's just over there. Then we'll disembark and we'll go check out the site. Check it out, here's the water. So we're coming in for our, uh, disembarkment. So here's the little ferry we took across here. It was a pretty short ride, but we got three or four cars on here and we just came from over there. Pretty neat. All right, so we just got in here. It was uh, 14 Turkish Lira piece, so 28 total. Uh, with the conversion, that's roughly $4. And uh, let me show you, there is actually a, an Acropolis up here. I think there was a trail I was reading so you can get up there. But we're going to just walk around here and see the sights. There's a theater in here as well. So we'll definitely get to check that out. That's one of our favorite things about coming to these sites is the theaters. So one of the first sights you see when you come in through the gate is this domed church here. It says it was from the 6th century uh, CE, and it uh, obviously doesn't have the dome left, but uh, pretty neat. These arches, a bit of them are still standing. It's not a very huge church, but it looks like it had some pretty solid uh, structure in its time. It Look at those blocks. It was the, one of the best preserved in Anatolia. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Let's go inside and check it out. Look, that looks, that's a little scary. Oh, that doesn't look safe. It's fine. <laughs> Neat. Nice and cool in here. It's a warmer day today. Actually, we uh, got a beautiful sunny day today. It was supposed to be like 73. We're going to try to get up to the top of that uh, little Acropolis in a sec, but see these little lower sights first. That must have been the nave there, huh? Yep. Here's some uh, stone carvings with some crosses. This building's pretty neat. It's uh, like a perfect circle. It was saying each block is at 22.5 degrees to complete this circle. And it was believed to have been a like an astronomical observation uh, building. Is that what it was saying, right? Yeah, there was a, an early astronomer named Hipparchos, and he lived, he was Greek, and he was across on the neighboring island of Rhodes, which we can't see from here. Um, but they said they built it for him to come and make observations, and you can kind of see, like, see the, the grooves little. in the top of the stones? Yeah. That would have helped him line up what he needed to see. It's a trip. So here's the outer wall just below this entrance here for the theater. It says the theater held 5,000 spectators. What was this fountain all about? Did you see that? Um, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty neat structure. You can't really tell what it was today, but the picture shows how they would have funneled water and it would have cascaded oh, in cool. waterfalls and in sections. That's neat. And then water would have just been here in the base. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out this theater, huh? little bit of uh, signage here as you enter in. Looks like maybe different things they unearthed when they were excavating the site. Um, we did ask the uh, ticket guy what the pronunciation was, and he told us uh, to pronounce it Kaunos. So I believe I was pronouncing it Kaunos or something earlier. But uh, according to him, it is Kaunos that we are at here. So look, let's look over here. So here's this theater. How neat is that, that the uh, olive trees have just grown up in here. I wonder how long they've been here. Here's a view down of this uh, theater. Rachel was saying that in uh, 2006, right? Yeah. there was actually the last performance here. And it was a performance um, to celebrate the 125th uh, anniversary of the uh, birth of Ataturk. So up until 
you know, a couple decades ago, they were actually still doing performances here. It's pretty intense. You can see just over this uh, area here is a bit of like a marshland. And then I'm, I'm sure it's pretty bright because the sun's beaming, but uh, that's the sea out there. All right, we found the trail to get up to the Acropolis with the help of a, um, I believe he was like a groundskeeper because it looked like he was spraying like, uh, maybe like a mosquito repellent or some type of uh, pesticide. And he saw us kind of standing, looking and walking through what, where there wasn't really a path. And he, he said in Turkish, are you trying to get up there? And he said, I don't really understand. He said, oh, it's okay. And he started speaking English conveniently for me and said, there's a little path just to follow this little path. So it looks like we're on it and it looks like it's gonna break left and then it winds up this way. So if you come, come up by the theater, you'll see this little stone path and then you take it left along the base and then it swings back up to the top. Well, we stopped here in the shade and there's just a lovely view already. I don't know if you can hear all the, like it sounds like frogs almost in all this like swampy land around here. It's really neat. You can see a little bit of structure as you get further and further up. I think the path kind of just winds and then you'll eventually get to the top. All right, so this path is a little seedy at times, but if you pay attention, you'll be able to tell the way. And if you pay even more attention, you'll see these little red arrows. There's one here, and then as the trail goes up, there's actually one just below where Rachel was, just there. And I think we're almost to the top, I'd say. So we're almost to the top for sure now. There's a the little ferry we came across on. And you can see now, we're starting to see some uh, structural base here. And basically this is the top. But we're gonna try to get to the other side. Look like there was some more uh, ruins on that far side. Then we'll get a view. Look at these sheeps. Here's the resident, uh, I guess these are sheep? Oh, excuse you. These guys are just chilling up here, keeping the grass mowed. Say hi. Say hi to all the viewers. It's okay, you don't have to go. Don't be shy. Check out this view. Go to this other side here and you can see back down towards the ruins. So I think there was some building ruins just on the edge there. So if you look over there, that, uh, I believe it's pronounced Izutsu, or Izutus, something along those lines, but that's a, a pretty famous beach. That long, flat portion right yeah. there, huh? So you can see it's just, it's the Mediterranean, and then it meets these marshlands, and also the, the Dalian River, which is right here. Um, and it's very famous because it's a uh, leatherback sea turtle breeding ground, and so there's a lot of, like, um, activists that are prominent in this area because they're, they were trying to build hotels and such here, ah. but it would have destroyed their habitat. Cool. Um, so it's pretty, pretty neat. It's beautiful. Look at those like things down there in the water in the river. You see that? Yeah. I wonder if those are like a clam. Farming or something? Yeah. Something. So the mythical legend of the discovery of the city was that it was discovered by a man named Kaunos and he was the grandson of Apollo and he had a twin sister and she fell madly in love with him. And one day she writes him a love letter confessing all of her feelings for him. And he reads the letter and he is not about it. Um, I don't think it was because he was against incest because between the gods, you know, that was just kind of a thing. Um, but it was unrequited either way. So he left, took his followers with him. And the twin sister was so consumed with woe and misery that she just cried and cried and cried and her tears are what make up this beautiful Dalian River that we see below us. Whoa, so that Acropolis area is a bit more extensive than we showed. There are a few other little paths as you come up that you can opt for. We actually came down a, a different path that we didn't uh, come up and there were a few uh, ruins there as well and we could see another little path with some uh, other ruins as well. None of the ruins are very extensive, they're just uh, maybe a couple base walls and things. But uh, if you've got more time, you could spend a little more time up on the Acropolis there and see a few more things than we did. Uh, we just want to get back down to this lower area here that has 
this like um like it's like a swampy uh kind of watershed area i guess well just before we head down to this lower area there is a huge uh, roman bathhouse structure here it doesn't appear as if you can go into most of it they've got a gate there must have uh, structural uh, issues but uh certainly impressive and then if i look back you can see we were just up there that uh, video where i was shooting from the top was down on these walls here quick look inside of this bathhouse structure it's actually a set of small stairs here that doesn't really lead up to anything but it's still cool oh. kind of ends here This little path that leads down to this water area is really neat. They've got a bit of the old ancient uh, road or path, and then this wood uh, structure that we just came off of as well, and it kind of just looks like it winds down. From what I'm looking at from up here, it looks like a pretty magical fairy tale like uh, landscape down here. Look at this path, it's super cool. A few people down here. This is the cooler spot of this site, I think. Man, this lower area is so neat. According to the sign, there's basically three temples down in this lower area. And this area is so cool. Can't really uh, venture out into the most of that, I don't think. There's actually this temple portion up here. We'll go back up and check that out in a second. Let's walk down to this water's edge. upper portion of one of these temple areas here. Looks like if I wind down this way, can pop down on this little grassy area. This is super neat. It's like a, like I was saying, it's like a fairy tale land. It's so green. Hear all those frogs making all this noise. It's like um, spring is sprung and they're all out here trying to find a mate. These frogs out here whiling. See if I can get one on my... These frogs are out here making a ton of noise. They gotta be like right here. Right, it's gotta be uh, like the start of the oh, mating there's one. season. Or see them on the little. Uh... Oh, I see it. Look, one, two. Three, oh yeah, there's a ton of them. Four. Yeah, they gotta be enjoying this warm weather as much as we are. All right. How neat. We're not sure if this is usually as flooded as it is. Maybe because there's. I mean, it looks like there's a significant amount of growth. In right, there. and there's a. Those are like aquatic-looking plants. Right, but there's signage back there that's in the water mm. which makes me think that it's not always supposed to be like that right yeah so many frog dogs yeah this area must have been uh not flooded because you can see signage over there that you must have been able to walk over there and read before Oh, there goes a frog. I think all the frogs are swimming off now that we're walking up right here. Yep, there goes that guy too. The monuments of Quintus Vidius Capito and Glycana. Glycana? Here's uh, one of these chair looking things, huh? Sure. An excedra. An excedra. I don't know why they don't just call it a bench, but. They don't. Just show everyone what you just found. Oh yeah, check it out. He's our new friend. Freaking tortoise, Doug. That's cool. Freaking Turkish turtle. Uh, <laughs> Turkish <laughs> tortoise. He looks like uh, he's really enjoying this area. I'm telling you. It's got to be a wonderful place for him. Right, we saw so many lizards when we were up there. Now there's all these amphibians. 
And then another reptile here, this tortoise. He seems so chill, like he's not even uh, concerned with us. Hey, buddy. How beautiful. Check out our tortoise friend. He's on the move. Look at the back of his shell. It's really cool. Like, it's not uh, round like, like a desert tortoise. It's got like a fin type thing. He's a romper. He's pretty fast. All right, we got tired of admiring that gorgeous tortoise and uh, we came down to this far end of this little area here. This really, this area is so amazing. And imagine in the spring uh, here in a bit and in the summer when these uh, trees have filled out a bit more, how awesome yeah, this site's gonna be. But this is a basilica here. Bring your mosquito repellent. Right? <laughs> this is a nave there you can see. Right. And it looks like it went quite a ways back this way. According to that sign, it was a decent length, and it ran along what would have been the uh, the harbor here. All right, and Quanos was a uh, important port city, and their main exports were salt, slaves, um, black mastic, and pine resin, which would have been used in like boat building and repairs, and dried figs. But like so many uh, areas that we visited, the harbor silted up. Um, and so it destroyed their economy, and then because of that, malaria set in, and it started killing all their people, so really, uh, the city kind of fell after that, and that was in about the 15th century CE, and it was, so people, they found relics as far back as the 10th century, but most of these monuments, I think, are like 4th century BCE. Maybe this was the baptismal area here inside this basilica. Our buddies just showed up. Come on guys. There's greener pastures over here. This little baby sheep here. Well, this looks like the far end of this site here. Looks like it's fenced off any further than this. Check out some of these column posts, or column uh, ends. These are some type of column base, structural base anyway. See you guys, be safe out there. Oh, excuse you. So this might have been a part of the far end of that basilica structure. I'm not sure of that though. The sign said it was decent size. I think there's more lizards running around here. This is the coolest area to explore. It's pretty, uh, pretty free to roam around. Most of it was uh, fairly open. There was a couple of areas that uh, you weren't allowed to enter into, but for the most part, it wasn't very restricted. Imagine this would have just been the uh, harbor area here. Oh, he took a path and it kind of brought us to the backside of this little water area here. There's a really uh, neat spot here. You can see deep down in here, it's like they dug down and found a, an old ancient wall or Something like that. Yeah. Right? Wonder if that was like a aqueduct kind of deal or Whoa, is that a freaking statue? No, that's like black this black tarp stuff draped over something. Oh, I see, yeah. It almost looked like a dress of like on like a statue or something. Another little area here. You certainly used to be able to get over here when it's not so wet because this is like a maybe like the agora area here we just came around 
Maybe that's under the water table now since the the river is there. This neat little room area is here. I don't know if this is the Agora area or not. And in fact, now that I look at it, I don't think I'm supposed to be in this area, so I should probably get out of here because from that side there's fences, but we came around this back side. So I'll probably head out, but figured I'd get a view real quick since I hopped up there anyway. Check out this tree that's grew into this wall. And all the stones are just mixed in there with the roots. Little building here. Some pretty gnarly trees down in here with the uh, thorns and stuff. We found this archway here. I don't know if this will lead us back up the way we came or not. Maybe not. Huge old lizard right here back up on this temple. Oh, he got him. I love how there's all these like trails through here. And if you just keep following them, like eventually you'll run into something. There's just this little bit of ruin here. I don't know if this is always so green, maybe not in the summertime, but it's been raining quite a bit. There's different little uh, vegetation sprouting now. What you got? Oh, is that a... Ow, ow! Jeez, that thing just tore my leg up. Oh my gosh. I freaking got spikes in my legs. Can we get them out? Now I'm bleeding. It's a well or something, be careful. Oh wow, that's certainly a well. Well, I should have had my legs pulled down, but it's fine. There's all kinds of stuff spread out through here. You can, you can see we're just on the other side there is where we were a minute ago where the tortoise was. And just up on this hillside, if I can get this sun behind this tree, you can see there's another like Acropolis type uh, hill here. Some walls. I don't know if I'm picking those up at all. So there's these really neat, oh look at, people have piled all kinds of pottery and right, stuff there here. There are so many like handles and things here. I did read that Herodotus wrote that these people really love their drink. Mm. Um, so maybe that's why there's so much of it here. Right. Yeah, you can see all kinds of it down there still. Right, look, there's more here. These pieces are really interesting. I don't know if they were part of the top of a building, but they all seem to have a, a bit of a degree to them. Like a, they would all formed like a large circle or something. And these pieces are really neat. I've never seen anything like this. They're like, like a pyramid or a, a triangle type. And even this, like loopy decoration. Mm -hmm. It's like a flower petal type look yeah. or something. I wonder if it was like a, a rounded peaked roof or something. Something. Never seen anything like that though. All right, let's head back up and uh, go to that little temple before we head out. Yeah, this area certainly was not always flooded because uh, we were correct when we said that this area that we were climbing up on was the Agora. Uh, you can see there's actually a trash can and, this, and more signage there. I don't know why they have it fenced off now if you used to be able to access it. Maybe uh, too much wear or they're doing excavation. Neat little road that just brings you up behind this temple here. There's a nice platform I'll go up there. But check out these uh, really good examples of these ionic columns. Those are in really good shape, those yeah, ones. Really good. Right? So there's a nice uh, viewing platform of this temple here. And there's this really neat round structure actually as well. And it's an excedra, right? The, the circular seating areas. Yeah, I don't know if that was one though. 
that might have just been part of the structure of the... I think the sign did mention that it was. And then down there was that really neat green watery area. We walked back up that way as well. You could probably spend a little bit more time and go up on those hills and see more ruins. But uh, we're going to head out now. We're going to try to make it over to the uh, tombs that are in the cliffside before it gets too dark. Uh, if you're curious, check out our channel. I'm going to go over there and shoot some video of that and then go across the river again to this park and get some uh, video of it from the side. But thanks for coming along, guys. We appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the views here. Stay safe and stay sane.